You've heard about quiet quitting, but what if the company tries to do it to you in the form of quiet firing? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to share with you some signs that the company is getting ready to push you out. Hey everybody, it's Brian from A Life After Layoff. And today I want to share with you some signs that you're being pushed out by a company. Now, if you're in a situation where you're working for a company and you're starting to get an uneasy feeling that maybe your days are numbered, this video is going to break down some signs that your company has some ill intentions about your employment and maybe it's time to update that resume. But before we get too far into it, if you're interested in more videos just like this one directly from a corporate recruiter, sure would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button because that helps support the channel, helps keep me bringing you great quality content all about employment and careers. So in HR, there is a concept called constructive dismissal. What is constructive dismissal? Well, essentially, it's when a company makes your work or employment situation so unbearable that you have no other option but to quit. Companies have lots of reasons why they might consider doing it. Probably the most common reason is that maybe they deem you to be a potential problem and if they were to terminate you, it could cause additional issues. And in other cases, companies may try to avoid paying out certain benefits in particular unemployment insurance, because if you were to leave voluntarily, then they're not on the hook for that. Now I'll talk more about constructive dismissal and whether or not it's even legal in another video. But in the meantime, here are some signs that you should be looking for that the company is looking to quiet fire you. So the first thing that I'd be looking for is whether or not you have gotten a raise in several years. And this is especially true when you know that other people in the department or in your company have received raises, but you haven't. It's pretty obvious why this one's considered to be a red flag, but if your company has decided to cut you off from any future raises, especially knowing that other people are getting them, it's probably a good indicator that you want to update that resume. Another thing to look for is whether or not you've been repeatedly passed up for promotion. Now there's a lot of things that go into promotions and how companies make those decisions. I will talk about that in another video as well. But if you're somebody that has made it known that you're interested in a promotion and you've done everything in your power to position yourself to be the best possible fit for a promotion, yet it never seems to come or you're always skipped over it by somebody else who potentially could be less deserving than you. It's something that I would be paying attention to as well because when a company makes a decision to promote somebody else and not you, there's almost always a discussion behind the scenes about the potential fallout if we were to promote somebody else, we have to think about the consequences and you might have to do damage control, especially if somebody feels that they're in line for it. Besides, if you're somebody that's being passed up for promotion, it's probably not an opportunity you want to stick with anyway, because it's as we know, a steady job is bad for our careers. You should certainly check that video out. If you fall into this category, we want to act like a free agent and we want to make the best possible decisions for us in our career. So if you're being continually blocked, do the right thing for your career, update your resume, start working on those networks and start getting out there into the job market. The next time to look for is if you've put in a PTO request or vacation request and it has been denied or is repeatedly being denied and assuming that you're not abusing it, the time makes sense and that you've kind of coordinated with other people in your department so that there's coverage. That's an indicator that the employer is probably not valuing you and wants to make your life somewhat uncomfortable. And should you take that PTO, regardless of whether or not it's been approved, you may find yourself with the next warning sign, which is that you've been placed on a PIP, a performance improvement plan, or some other performance management tool. In almost every case, the company is starting to manage you out of the business. But it's important to note that just because you get put on a PIP does not mean that you're automatically being exited out of the business. In some cases, managers might love it if you actually achieved what's on the PIP itself. But if you read through the PIP and it just seems very unreasonable and it's not at all based in reality, probably a good indicator that they're looking to manage you out of the business or trying to encourage you subtly or not so subtly, I guess, to remove yourself voluntarily. And taking it a step further, if you suddenly notice that your schedule is being messed with, whether it's all of a sudden you have a bunch of mandatory overtime, especially during periods of time that the boss already knows that you'd be unavailable or it'd be a particular burden to you, that's probably a good indicator that you're gonna be managed out of the business. And on the flip side, you could actually have your hours cut down to the bare minimum to keep you employed. That could even mess with your benefits eligibility and other things. In particular, if you're somebody that's paid by the hour or paid by the shift, that could really impact your paycheck. And that's certainly a reason somebody would look for a new job to begin with. So the company could be gently encouraging you by messing with your hours. And if that doesn't work, maybe they opt to mess with your workload and dump so much work on you that it's unbearable. Because any reasonable person that is suddenly doing double the amount of work with no additional pay and being forced to work hours that they don't wanna work, 
is probably a good motivator to go out and look for another job. And some unscrupulous companies may actually use that to their advantage. The next thing to look for is if your performance appraisals are suddenly lackluster, and this is especially true if you've had good performance appraisals in the past, and suddenly your boss is being overly critical about things they were usually complimentary about in the past. And HR departments do use performance appraisals as part of their formal documentation process. So if you were considered to be a performance issue, that's certainly something that your boss would be actively engaged with the human resource department to manage and monitor. And in most cases, I don't feel that performance appraisals in their current state are particularly motivating to begin with. So when you have somebody criticizing your work, right, wrong, or indifferent, it can be a very demotivating factor and one that might force you out the door. The next major warning sign to look for is if your boss is no longer communicating with you. So in other words, they're not showing up to your private one-on-one -on -one sync every week. Maybe they're rescheduling at the last minute. They're not making you a priority or potentially they're not responding to emails in a timely manner or making themselves available in your office. They always seem to be busy or doors closed to you and you send them emails with things and they never respond back to you, never give you the information that you need or never help you clear the roadblocks that they're supposed to. That boss could be disengaging from you. And the last major warning sign that I wanna cover is if you're suddenly removed from some work that you were typically involved with, whether it was a project that you were leading that is suddenly handed off to somebody else or potentially you're not invited to staff meetings anymore that you used to be invited to, or maybe that water cooler talk that you used to be privy to is suddenly no longer shared with you and you could potentially even be shunned in public places when you see your boss with other people. Now, this is not an all-encompassing list and in and of itself, if you notice one or two of these things, it doesn't mean that you're automatically being quiet fired, but you should certainly start paying attention and trust your gut in those circumstances. If you're somebody that finds yourself in a situation where you think that the company is constructively discharging you or at least preparing for that, you do have some options. The first one being is that you can continue status quo and force the company's hand and let them terminate you if that's their intention. The second thing you can do, and this is the acting like a free agent route, is go quit your job and find a better place that's more supportive of you because staying in a toxic environment that it's not healthy for you is not good for your personal life, it's not good for your mental health, it's not good for your career. So might as well find a place that's gonna be better for you in the long run. And the third option that you have is if you feel like you're being discriminated against for whatever reason, I would encourage you to go find a local attorney in your area that can help you interpret the local laws. And it's always the best practice to have your resume up to date and ready to go and not having to scramble when you need it. But if you're somebody that needs more help with your resume and you're not really sure where to start, I would encourage you to look at my course called Resume Rocket Fuel. Resume Rock Fuel is designed to teach you how to write a resume that's gonna give you the best chance of getting a recruiter to notice you and start picking up those phones to call you. The nice thing about Resume Rock Fuel is it includes some templates, but not only does it teach you how to write the resume, but it also teaches you how to customize it and use your resume as a strategic document. It's a really robust resource you should check out. And if you're somebody that needs more individual help, I do offer some private one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. For details on those, you can reach me through my website as well. I hope that if you're watching this video all the way to the end that you're not experiencing any of these signs and that everything is going great. Appreciate you watching. We will see you on the next one.